We are here at the Cicero Cemetery and this is the people or group of people who manage it. It is the town of Cicero Parks and Recreation Department. If there's any questions you can call them. Right here is a list of um, veterans that are buried here. And right next to that is a box where they have the Cicero Cemetery Association directory. We're going to get this in there. There, that's on there. We're going to start off here in Section J. So the reason why I decided to come back here to the Cicero Cemetery is because I wanted to focus this video on mail order headstones. Can you tell which one's a mail order headstone? There's two of them out there. Right here we are in section F. The first one that we come across is Cushing. I'm not exactly sure when these type of headstones were first featured in a magazine, but when looking up online I saw that Sears and Robux had a catalog and they featured them in their one of their first catalogs in 1902. It was a cheaper way to be able to mark someone's headstone. One of the ways you can tell if you're not sure kind of hollow and right here is a typical rock headstone. This mail order headstone belongs to a group of people. Here we have Samuel Cushing died October 19th 1887 in the 86th year of his age. Read up here it says a little bit about Samuel Cushing continued. Samuel Cushing, son of Solomon and Polly Cushing, married Dorca Daniels in 1800 and had 11 children charity Samuel Maria Patrick Caroline Padilla Rola Cortez, Alexander, Angelia, and Albert. He died March 10th, 1856, aged 83 years old. Samuel Cushing married Olive F. Ferguson in June of 1836 and had three sons, William F. Rittner and Quincy. Looks like there was only two sons mentioned there, though. And on this side, we have Matthew, the son of Peter Cushing, Norfolk, England, married Nazareth, daughter of Henry Pitcher, baptized October 30th, 1586. That may be the oldest one I've found yet in the short year that I've been doing these types of cemetery tours. They, with their five children, came over on a ship diligent landing Boston October 10th, 1638, settled at Hingman. He died September 30th, 1660, aged 72 years. His widow died January 6th, 1681, in her 96th year. If you look right here, how they abbreviate January, you got J-A-N apostrophe Y. We no longer add this as part of the abbreviation. I'm not sure at what point that stopped, and I think that's more of an acronology thing than anything else. And right under here is the wife. 
of Samuel Cushing. This is Olive F. Ferguson. The wife of Samuel Cushing died March 8, 1876. She was 64 years of her age. In 1993, the mail order headstones were no longer available in the Sears catalog as well as the Sears catalog itself being completely discontinued and as we know Sears is no longer around and at one time they they took on Kmart as part of their uh, conglomerate here is John the youngest son of Matthew Nazareth Cushing was a representative of the General Assembly in 1690 and 1692 his son and grandson were judges of the Supreme Court of Massachusetts and the grandson Honorable William Cushing judge in Supreme Court of the US died September 1810 Daniel the eldest son married Lydia Gilman June 19 1645 had five sons Matthew one of these married Jaleel Jacobs December 31st 1864. Right here is William F. Samuel and Olive F. Cushing died October 3rd, 1875, and he was in his 38th year of his age. It was really, really young. This monument was erected in 1880. When I looked up online, I couldn't really find other than the Sears catalog that offered the idea of any type of history that went along with the mail order headstones. But this one right here, this is the side for Samuel. Right here. Son of Matthew and Julio Cushing married Hannah Tilston Solomon. One of their sons married Polly Burr of Hingman. Hingman. Their children were Joshua, Polly Warren, Sarah Samuel, Hannah Solomon, Isaac, Rhoda, and Selah. Of the descendants, Matthew and Nazareth Cushing had, in 1825, graduated from Harvard College, of whom... Eight were clergymen, and most of them were noted men. And that finishes it up for the Cushing mail order. Right in, over here on the other side of the Cicero Cemetery, I found another one. And if you made it this far, you may have recognized the cemetery because I've been here once or twice before. There's times I did come here. I was not really too inspired to film anything, but I was walking around here waiting to go to a car appointment that I have for my car because the airbag has to be replaced on a recall. It's 17 years old. It's kind of... But it works out. So right over here, we have another mail order headstone. This one's slightly different and this one belongs to a different family. Carlisle and Larum. This is the grave of James Carlisle born February 3rd 1847. During his life he married a woman called Lenora. She was born June 1st, 1855. Albert S. Smith married his wife and William, their son. The last time I was here, I'm going to have to look for the video. Maybe I'll splice it in. That opening right there was not open. I will 
find that video and I will piece it in right next to this. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's sad that that has to happen and I'm hoping I, I have good footage of that actually being intact. So, here is Charles, our brother, born October 27th, 1848.